the English words vanish. Because I want to say in Urdu, you know, and every time I was happy, all the English words vanish. Every time when I was um, emotionally disturbed, all the English words vanish. Because the vocabulary develops with time, right? And for a very long time in America, I was like, why don't they make like jokes that are funny? I could not enjoy the jokes. I never laugh on any English joke because I didn't know the background. I didn't know the culture. Once you know the culture, it has a background, right? I didn't know the idioms. And slowly when you live, when you learn, you learn the culture with it and then a joke becomes funny. Oh, that's so funny, you know? And I, in the beginning, it was like, that's not funny. Why, are, why is everybody laughing, right? So it comes with time. And another important thing that you need to know is that listening, that was one of my early workshops. Listen, don't hear, listen. Most of the time we hear things and we say, oh, kya job I, 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 we are thinking that what is my answer? We are not listening. More you listen, better a second language you speak. So sometimes people think, oh, I don't practice, I don't practice. It's not practice here, practice is here, right? So I want to tell you two stories. I want to start the workshop with two stories. And there's a lot of like doing things today. So you will get up from your seats and you will work with me, all of us. And um, uh, Anjum is like an outstanding person. I told her like one night I, I need all these things and I don't know how she does it. But look, she brought ropes and we are going to tie you guys a little bit. And um, I heard somebody say, kisko banna hai? Ye madamik ko banna hai aaj, you know? And uh, it, it is very important that culture is with you. You know, it is, so let me tell you, for example, I want to start with two, two um, small stories. One is that there was a little kid in America. He was the kid of my supervisor. And he met me when I was doing my PhD. And he was very, he was three and he used to come into the lab. And of course, everybody calls me Gul, right? And very uh, shortly after that, he comes to me and he says, Dul. So he started calling me Dul. And I talked to my supervisor and I said, he has hearing issues. And he says, no, 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 my son is absolutely fine. He has no hearing issues. I said, I think you should take him to the doctor. They took him to the doctor. He has huge hearing issues. And of course, he, he was taken care of. And after a year or so, the kid first time calls me Gul. And my heart broke, basically, because I was Dul for him, you know? Because we learn what we hear. So a lot of people sometimes say, oh, I had a big time, I had a big time, but I didn't have interview in English. Mein. Because your listening capacity is very different, you know? If you hear British English, it's very different. If you hear American English, it's very different. So when, when you live and you um, um, see English movies, you know, that improves your English. So there's a list of English movies sometimes we tell our students to see. They are like slow movies, if you like romantic comedies, if you, if you like dramedies, you know, like drama and comedy, if you like action movies, like that. So we tell them to see this movie. And then we discuss the movie, open discussion. And that improves the language, any language. Like it can be Farsi, it can be Arabic, it can be any language. But you have to know the culture, right? If you have never seen anybody wearing a short skirt, which is also called a skirt, you will not know what the skirt means because it's not part of the culture. And when sometimes, first time somebody say, oh, her skirt looks so pretty. And you're like, what? You know, so it comes with time, right? The other, other, other is a story. So there is a cat and she has two kittens. 
and kittens come running to the mama and they say mama mama there is a dog you know so she said you shouldn't be afraid of the dog just say mew to it. So they say we tried we said mew mew but the dog is like coming so mama said okay i'll take care of it so mama goes and she looks at the dog and she says bow bow and the dog runs away and mama turns around and say mama how did you do that kitten say she says never underestimate the power of the second language you need to know a second language and pakistanis are so good because we are born bilingual we speak punjabi and we speak urdu we are born bilingual so the third language is not a problem at all so when i was young very young maybe 15 or 16 so i was in a room and uh, the servant came and she was like cleaning the room and then she said to me and we didn't know any punjabi we only knew english because my mother said that on tuesdays you speak english and if you don't tell me anything in english i'm not responding to you so all that credit goes to my mother dad was at the business and um but but we didn't know punjabi so um for a long time so this woman who who used to work in our house she says baji bua te lao i looked at her and then i then said nothing she said baji bua la deo i went to my mother and i said ammi wo keh rahi hai ki darwaza utar ke idhar rakh do to main kaise karu to my mother said my children will start learning punjabi also so then we learned punjabi and now i know what does it mean bahut alao baji i i know na right but but i didn't you know so language is a very strange thing language is not a language language is you language is culture language is us right and this is totally wrong when people say oh if your urdu is good you cannot be good at english wrong oh oh if your english is good you cannot be good at urdu wrong oh if you know two languages you cannot be good at the third language wrong people know seven languages and they speak seven languages people do their phd's in linguistics right so but the language is never learned the way we are sitting that's not how you learn a language that i say a and you say a and i say b and you this that's not languages are learned languages are learned in interaction when you talk when you make mistakes when you like say wrong things and laugh when you say wrong things and when cry <laughs> right and that's how languages are learned so it's a process right so i i cannot be here for one hour and say okay let me teach you english i'm not here for that i'm here to tell you how in a year so 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 your homework for this workshop is that today when the workshop finish you tape yourself speaking english do say whatever you want send a message to your mom say ammi assalam alaikum i'm here after eid you know i miss you whatever you want to say say it and then do all those things that i will teach you in this workshop today and one year from now in year 2022 the same day today 26th of july i want you to listen to that message and you will say oh my god really and then tape yourself again and compare and it will be totally different you will be ahead in the game but if you do the practices if 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 you do the practices is everyone with me are we good yes okay awesome so we start with why should we care and how to acquire them professional trainings and skills you should never stop training you should never stop improving your skills i we talked about servant leadership servant leadership is when you serve first and you are a leader second 
you productive leader as an educator we talk about that that it is very important that your productivity is defined by you and your students should know that what your productivity is learning a new language also fits in thinking outside of a box you know you, when when people say oh farangi ki language you know so sayed ahmed khan said in before partition before pakistan was made so sayed ahmed khan said learn the second language we will be ahead right and he was doing funding and somebody sent me uh, sent him uh, uh, shoes jute you know to to insult him right jutton ka haar bana ke to he sent to sir sayed uh, uh, ahmed khan that eh you are telling us to learn english you know we don't want english right he sell all those shoes sent a letter in english thank you so much your shoes were used for funding the campaign that our muslim brothers should learn english because british were speaking english so people who knew english they got jobs they got ahead once you got jobs and ahead you are in the offices once you once you are in the offices you are recruiting more people like you so very soon they were all in the official and secretariat places and we were not because we didn't know the language right so and and you are teachers i don't have to convince you guys you you you, you know that and we talked about formative and summative assessment and then ultimately it boils down to communication so communicate sometimes people say oh because everything was in english my interview went very bad it's not because of english it because communication went wrong because that can happen in urdu too i mean bahut allow baaji she exactly knew what she was saying to me i exactly knew i exactly didn't know what what was happening around me it was my ignorance not hers does it make sense to you right so don't worry about anything else around you improve ourselves we are going to improve ourselves okay so um today i have a guest with me so there is a, how many of you have a sister in your life how many of you have a sister in your life 1 2 3 almost 4 5 6 7 8 9 there's nothing like a sister right you fight with her you pull her here you cannot live without her right so my sis it's my sister's birthday uh, today and uh, i take the permission of anjum that i can bring her here today and one of the english thing you can do sing in english so a lot of like movies when i see they say children sing happy birthday to you happy birthday it's not birthday is is not birthday right so i want to say happy birthday to her but at the same time i want to tell you that it is not happy birthday the way we sing it it is birth th look at my tongue i bring it between the teeth and say th birth th and if you sing it like that very soon every time you will say birthday it will come natural one of the small things we say was with a v was everybody know and we say water it's not water it's water so we is said like we we look at my lips and water look at my lips w water 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 vas water so v and w is very different but because we are not we do not push on pronunciation in our country and also because we have british english right so it's a little different and british and american english is very different but once you know you can do either or for example in British English, you say Gavana. R is never there. R is like gone. Gavana. And in American English, we say Governor. 
R, R. We have like very. And if you go in Spain, in Spanish, they say R. They like roll the R. R is hard. Always they roll the R, right? So language is very amazing thing, right? So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to sing today. We are going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to your sister. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And she she is an alum of Lahore College also. She she's a psychologist. So we are going to sing happy birthday and we are going to sing it slow. I am going to sing it for my sister Ghazala and you can sing it for anybody if you like. But I want to hear everybody's voice. And that is one of the things you can do in your class. Give in, a, in your science class, give them ke proteins pe gana lik ke lao. Angrezi mein hona chahiye. You know? And then music banao. You know, fine arts is very important. You have to like really this mingling thing between fine arts and biotech and only can happen through projects. You know? So I do that in my class. First day I ask them, who plays guitar? Who plays piano? Who sings? Uh, what, what, is, what do you do in your spare time? And they say, oh, I am taking a dance class. And I'm like, oh, awesome. Can you dance with me? And they're like, uh, I'm like, come on. Come on, let's dance. Show me a step. You know, you break that barrier. Break that barrier. And if you don't want to dance, of course you don't have to. But then you sing. Or you say, if a guitar, I tell my student, Bring the guitar. Play for me. Play. It is three minutes of your class, but you have made a bond with a student forever. Forever. He will not forget you. She will not forget you. And you will not forget the student that, oh, you are the one you play guitar in my class. Right? So it's very, so, so language is a culture. Language is like not like open the book and we start reading. Okay? Ready to sing? Yes. Happy birthday to you, but happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Kazala. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Okay. So then usually I um so communication. So so, so this workshop is about communication and language, right? And I am talking English as a second language. You can talk Persian as a second language, Arabic as a second language, Punjabi as a second language, so forth. Urdu as a second language for many people who have English as their first language. So all this media that has happened, that has made it difficult also. Now we text, we FaceTime, we Twitter, right? So here, most of the time the communication, you know, one of the best thing you can do to yourself for the time and with your students, give them one media. Give them only one media. And if you have an MLS in um, LCWU, just a canvas hai, yeah, as a MLS hai, us MLS mein, ye hona chahiye ke students aapko email likhenge only through Teams, ya only through um, Canvas. Ya only through Outlook. Ya only through Google. Jo bhi aapka hai. One. Apne syllabus mein likhne. Okay, if you want to send me an email, this is the media. You do not want to have a bombardment of communication from MS Teams, Canvas, uh, Google, Outlook, and you are like, oh, and then one student say, huh, he never answered my email. She never answered my email. Because you are like going crazy. So communication has to be controlled, always. Doesn't matter which communication. Communication has to be controlled communication. So you have to say it in your syllabus. Okay, email, any email, five, cup class should be nine o'clock here. Okay, 9 to 5, jo college ke hours hain, 9 to 5 emails I will entertain. All the emails after 5 o'clock I will entertain next 24 hours. And you will see that your relationship with your students will change. 
you know why? Because you are telling them that your time is very important too. And they, they should have some discipline to send you an email. They cannot send you an email an hour before the workshop and say, oh, madam, did you get my email last night at 2 o'clock? No, I didn't. I was sleeping. You know, so these small changes, you know, of communication will make your students better also and, and, and will help you, you know. Uh, so, th so I'm showing you that people are angry with each other all the time. That oh man, those got Twitter. Like how? Usne mera jawab hi nahi diya. Of course, that person is not sitting there to see your Twitter all the time. That person has thousand more things to do. Especially people in admin. You know, they, they have like hundred. They have to take care of personnel. They have to take care of scheduling. They have to take care of pays. What they're sitting by the Twitter so that you can write and. So, so you have to, uh, it's called um, um, deal and cater and control expectations. Expectations that students have from you and expectations that you have from your students. So you never tell your students, yeah, 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 get cut off. You tell your students that I will only do this, 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 this. You don't tell them tum ye 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 karo. You say, I will only see my email 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock, then close, then 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock next day because I have a life. And as a result, you teach them how to communicate better. Don't forget, after 30s, you sleep more in the night and at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, they are nocturnal. They stay up in the night and sleep during the day. So you do not have the same schedule. So that's why controlling the expectations in communication is very important. You don't have to say, hey, I am 50. I cannot be up in the night now till 2 o'clock. You just say, hey, this is my syllabus. These are my rules. We will communicate. I am always available for you, but I will see your email 9 to 5. That's it. And then 9 to 5 next day. right? So, and if anybody say, oh, wo jawab nahi diya, or ye nahi kiya, wo nahi kiya, to you say, hey, it is in the syllabus. Go read the syllabus. And then communication is important because if I say, we sing one, two, three, happy birthday, right? So it's after three. And that's not say it is on three or after three. You know, this small glitch in communication made a space shuttle go boom because somebody gave the uh, numbers and the units in British were different than units in America. Inches and centimeters are totally different thing. So when you say three, do not think that the other person knows that three what? Three feet, three mile, three inches, three centimeters, three millimeters, they're all different things. Communication means complete your thought and complete your sentence. If you don't take anything else from this workshop today, take this with you. Complete your thought and complete your sentence. And I tell my students that too. I write it on the top of the exam. Read every question very carefully. Read the entire question. Do not assume the question, please. And even then, students like read the question, they assume the rest of it, and they answer it. And then they lose, lose points. Right? So communication from you to them. In order for your students to do better communication, what we need to do as teachers is improve our communication with them. And it automatically kind of like rolls. Your class does better communication. OK. So uh, I, I used to have a nursery rhyme. I went to Sursayat Cambridge School and the nursery rhyme, what it was and what I thought it was. So when I was young, I used to always go in the morning and we used to say, oh my God, I love you. Make me love me more and more. Bless me more. That in my, uh, that in my dabis and wavy as a child. Then I, I grew up slowly and I listened and it was, oh my God, I love you. Make me love thee 
more not we we and we is an old english you make me love we more and more bless me more heart not in my dubbies in my in my studies and bravery not we we you know so so listening does amazing things to you if you listen carefully you know communication will happen automatically okay so i have told you the mama cat story right we already are bilingual nation bravo to you right and then building communication in native or second language needs practice but that practice does not come automatically sing and talk in english helps you listen to songs in that language helps you practicing pronunciation helps you it took me a long time when i went from pakistan i say vegetables america vegetables so veg is small so we then say veggie we say vegetables so second e is gone right ambulance we say ambulance photography photography and it it didn't come like the first year not even the second not even the third but i practiced and as my children grew up in america i learned from them because children have like my three children they don't have any accent they have an accent in urdu i mean but they don't have an accent in english and for example if i write a word unhone mujhe diya na ha ye diya कौन ये ये वाला वर्ड कौन प्रोनाउंस करेगा नजर आ रहा है दूर से कौन पढ़ेगा ये मेरे वेरी गुड सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम पीपल रीड इट हेरिडिटी एंड हेरिडिटी व्हाट इज योर नेम लाइक अक्सा सैड इज द करेक्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग दैट right but it it comes with time right then you practice you practice culture of the language right and that happens when you watch movies and you have like a language interest in that okay so now we are going to make teams okay and i told you that you most most of the time sit with your friends and uh, that is another practice that you can do in your class and you will be amazed that your class will thank you much later okay so what i am going to do is i'm going to make team a and team b and the way i am going to make is i'm going to go around the room whosoever number matches that person come on one side okay if your number is 1 all the ones will come on one side 2 all the twos will come on the other side is that acceptable yes is that acceptable and so i start with one two one so so one who's sitting there one who can keep sitting two should start moving on that side you have to participate okay very good so this is team 1 right so you actually are team a now this is team a okay you have to work together 
and you have to work together to win from team B and team B will try to win from you, okay? So we, have, we are going to now play several games, okay? There is like, this is not the, this is not the win or lose, which is a real win and lose. This is like we are in this together, right? But this is the good competition, like a healthy competition. That healthy competition always help you learn, right? The, the bad competition kills everyone. E even the winners are killed and the losers are killed. Healthy competition, the winners win and the, the team that loses, they say, okay, next time we'll get you. You know, that healthy atmosphere, okay? So, so our first, you know, to communicate, game one. Game one is asking a good question can retrieve a good answer. If you ask a poor question, usually in the exam, teachers say, oh, man, it's a very good question. If 70% of your class is poor, doing poorly, you have most probably asked a poor question. And I'm saying it like with a lot of love and respect because I'm a teacher. I can make a poor question. So we, have, we, we need to have room to improve, right? So objective is to practice communication and English in a relaxed environment, right? And team A, you pick a category. That I made those categories either animals, vegetables, or lahore features. If you want another category, you tell me. No, this, is this is, I think, good to start for the first time. We are playing the game first time. So this I made easy categories. So if you play the game more, you start building. You say capitals of the countries international languages, you start adding difficult things. So I made very easy, okay? And team A picks a category, and then secretly you choose an item which belongs in that category. And team B can only ask you 15 questions. In English, there are only yes and no questions. So team A will say yes, but team B will ask a question or no. No more, you can, so you, in order to conform a question to only have yes or no, you have to, and everybody has to talk. If the answer is yes, you can ask another question. But you only have 15 questions to find out what team A is thinking. So now, team A get up, go there, figure out the category, figure out what you want to like one thing, write it on a piece of paper and just show me. So that I know that it is like good. okay. Actually, here is Anjum. Okay. Here. So everyone from team A, go huddle together. No, just one. Just one. Just huddle together. Huddle together. Talk to each other. Please. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. And it has to be a mutual decision, right? And team B, what you can talk to each other is, right, that do we have a strategy to figure out things in 15 questions? If any of you have any tricks, okay, discuss with Discuss with your team. Go, 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 huddle, huddle. They should tell us the category, then we get they will. They will. Okay. Yeah, 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 good idea. Good idea.
یہ ذرا تصویر اتاری ہے اوپر سے آف کورس آف کورس اوکے ٹیم اے ویری سون تھرٹی سیکنڈ تھرٹی سیکنڈ کل بھی ہے لیکن کل لیکچر نہیں ہے کل میٹنگ ہے کہ وہ لوگ باتیں کریں گے اور میں جواب دوں سوال ہے جواب سوال ہے ہاں جی بہت شون ہے ہاں بارہ بچے میں نہ خیال ہے میڈم تحرہ کو بتا ہو اوکے بیٹھ ہے ٹائم ایز اپ کمان 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 Yes.
No, no, no. I don't think it's a mystery. So it's easy. Maybe it's a mystery. Ah, it's a mystery. Ah, ah, ah.
yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, they are, they are consulting, right? Because I wanted to give them a chance to play at least one and one, you know. So when you're doing this, you have figured out the chemistry of your group. In some groups, some people talk a lot. They become dominant. Some people do not talk at all. And they are like just the listeners. So your job as a good leader is to give a chance to everybody to talk. You cannot take over the group. It happens in every group. I'm not talking that you're bad, you're good. I'm not saying that. Even when I work in many groups, some people will take over because they are very enthusiastic, they want to participate, right? They are, they are the people who are well-traveled sometimes. They are the people who have uh, played the game before or things like that. 
you know, it can be anything. It's the personality. But in a team, there is no I. In a team, there is only we. There is only we. You say yes, you say no, you ask a question, make sure you take everybody's opinion into account and do not dominate a team, right? And that goes for me too, right? When I work in a team, it's not about me, it's not about I, it's about we as a team. Is that clear? Okay, so here's the game two. Game two is right on the board. These are the statements that I put there. And these are, this is an example. Some of these statements are true. Some of these statements are not true. If I write a statement something like that, I am married. That's easily guessable. I already said to you, uh, my husband, I talked about my children. Not that kind of statement. You cannot say that, right? So I put the statements, I am all about team play, I love the boat cruises, I'm afraid of flying, I have four brothers, I'm very good at playing cards. Some are true, some are absolutely a lie. Some of these statements are absolutely not correct. And in communication, because communication is not about talking only, it's about listening, and it's also about the eye contact. Unfortunately, these days we are wearing masks, so it's even difficult, more difficult. So face expression tells a lot, right? There are people who have very good poker face. They can lie through their teeth and you will never know, right? But most of the teachers I know, they are like such honest people. They want to serve the nation. They want to serve the kids. They want to touch the future, right? You can tell what is inside that is outside. So now, what game two is that team B, one member will write three statements about yourself. You can, you can figure out on some member head, you know, and one member will write three statements about yourself there. And out of those three sta statements, two of them is a lie. One of them is true. And team A will ask three questions Three, to figure out that if this is correct or not. Which one is a lie and which one is a true. It is harder than you think. And then we, we will switch. Three questions for each answer? Three, three, three questions for each answer. Right? And then you have to figure out that if it is true or not. But you have to figure out the statements very cleverly. Figure out they the team really haven't gelled as much that they can write that you have to work with a person for a year or more in order to really get to know them so one of the criteria is you never know a person unless you have seen the person and you you never know a person, even if you've worked with them for 10 years, unless you have seen them emotional. How they behave, it like slowly opens up. So you, you cannot do the team. They, they have to choose a person. You have to choose a today, you have to choose a person. Next year, will you we know up. which person is the Yes. Huh? Will we know which person it will be? What do you think? Should they know which person it is? Yes. yes. And that yes. person can write statements about themselves. Yes. So now your job is, TV, your job is, first, you choose which person is going to do that. Second, you, you guys will know what is true and what is not true. But the statements have to be clever. Right? Not like I am married or not like this, you know. Like, for example, that's why I gave you that example of these statements. You know, I wrote these statements about myself. I'm all about team play. I am, I love the boat, cr boat cruises. I'm afraid of flying. I have four brothers and I am very good at playing cards. And you can ask me a question about any one of them and I can answer a question and then see if you can figure this out or not. That answer has to be correct. So that one of them means you have to, you have to tell truthfully, yes. 
Did you choose a person? Choose a person? What is your name? Ummul Banin. Banin? Yes. Oh, what a beautiful name. Ummul Banin. Yes. Okay. Ummul Banin. Yes. If I misspell it, you have to forgive me okay. and correct me. M E E W E. Okay. Ummul Banin. You, you are in team A? Yes. Statement number one. I like to? Make sure that you follow. I like to work in a group. No, that was my statement. Team play? I want to write that you are a team player? Okay, team B ready? Who is the person? So, in order to respect time, because I want you to show, I want to show you another game after this, and we are like coming to that mark of one o'clock. What I'm going to do, do is the team B. You are like cleaved here. Now, where team B one and B two, and you're cleaved in the middle between A one and A two. Are you ready? Yes. Right. So team A one. We'll work with team B1 and team B2 will work with team A2. Right? In this case, you are asking the questions. In this case, you are asking the questions. So the, everything will be done in one, one go. Does it make sense? Everybody is clear about that? So put a little bit of distance in A1 and A2. Uh, the person will end up in one of the teams and not in 
want to stick together. That is fine with me. That's perfectly fine with me. But we have a time clock, okay? So make sure that we do it fast so that I can show you another two games which are very important for you. Okay? Okay, go ahead. So you should start asking. Um, um, a goal first. Okay. No, wait. Your questions were here first. Yes. So they will ask first. Okay. Right? So, this is um, Umul Banin, right? Umul Banin says she loves, uh, likes swimming, she likes teaching, and she is a great team player. So, when did she swim last ये तो चलेगा अभी
question ho gaye right first one where where do you like to go fishing Yeah. <laughs> 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 
में चाय का ये एक और डाल दें ये बहुत सफेद है अच्छा रहने दें ठीक ओके आई एम अफ्रेड ऑफ द डार्क इज इज इट ट्रू और फॉल्स ओके सो वाई यूर ईटिंग I cannot ask you for a game, but there is a very good game that we should all play. But because you are eating right now, what I am going to do is I am going to skip a game and come back to it. Because when you learn a language, any language, two things are very difficult. One is jokes. I told you already. The other is idioms. Idioms becomes very hard, and they come much later in life to you, right? so let me go there or i can show you this movie where it shows that people who learn the second language how their brains are different from people who only know one language so would you like to see the movie while you are eating it's like a small clip like 2 3 minutes is that okay yes. all right so what learning a second language does to your brain <coughs> am i um am i connected to the server is there an it person here is, is the it person here i can put it in the google it's okay it's okay is connected with the with the wifi you're not connected to the wifi this one yes it's working properly Okay good. Thank you. Ji. Of computer sciences, mashallah. Of course you knew. So. you build your brain if you tease your brain and and teasing does not mean like just a game on you know google or something like that that means something with which you struggle right when you struggle with mathematics when you struggle with the music so for example today you decide i am going to learn piano it's not easy it's very easy to see when somebody play piano but when you start learning you say oh my god i have so much respect for people who play piano it is so difficult right so learning a new language not only changes your personality because you know about other culture it also lit actually a totally different part of your brain which might be just sitting there getting rotting because we only use very small percent of our brain all of our life very small amount we use right so we have a capacity of learning a lot of languages and it is showing like the scientific uh, um, proof of that that children who become immigrants they know their urdu and punjabi and they come home and mom is speaking urdu and punjabi they go to school everybody is speaking english or spanish and children are very quickly like a sponge picking spanish english urdu and punjabi all together all you have to do is like encourage them a little bit so children can learn very fast now sometimes people say oh adults cannot learn that fast because now we are dumber it's not that it's because when you as you're getting older you have so many things on your mind you have to pay the mortgage you have to take children to school you have to cook food 
and put it on the table, you have a job. So you, your brain is doing multiple jobs already, right? So you take a little longer, but that does not mean you cannot improve or speak a new language. It's today you decide, I am going to learn Swedish and work on it every single day, 10 minutes. Did you hear me? I didn't say one hour. I didn't say seven hours. I said 10 minutes every single day. If you give it sincerely, by the end of the year, you will know 100% more Swedish than you knew in the beginning. Same is true for piano. If you like learn piano, you don't have to play it like for one hour every day, 10 minutes. So whatever you want to improve in yourself, whether it is I want to walk, whether it is I want to learn a language, whether it is I want to learn computer skills, some people are very afraid of computers, oh my god, internet, what is this? 10 minutes of your day, you dedicate to it and you will like start, you will be on your way. So that is one thing I want to tell you. The other thing, so let me go back and not like be here. So other thing I want while you are sitting, you know, I want to show you this. So for example, if I say to you, Durke Dol, Durke Dol Suhane, Durke Dol Suhane, right? So in English, what will you say? Next, 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 next. Next, next, the grass is green. Ne very good. The grass on the other side is always green. IT wale kamal karte hain Okay. Tali ek haath se nahi bajti. Okay. Next, next. Next, it, it takes two to? Good. It takes two to it takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. So once you start getting your English better, you will see that it's the same thing but said differently. It takes two to tango. Tango is a beautiful dance. So you should you can like use it that what is tango? Okay, go to Google. Find out what is tango. It is such a beautiful and passionate dance. Always man and woman do it together. It's an English dance. There is a lot of expression in it, a lot of drama, you know. And she's like, does this and that. You know, the girl does that. And it's beautiful, right? So you will, it always takes two to tango, which means, learning ke liye do log chahiye. Tali do haath se hai. Okay? Akal band ke liye ishara kafi hai. Next. Next. Yeah, this one is a harder one. Next. Is to the voice. Say, say again. Anod is enough to the voice. Did you Google it? No. Not no. Google. Anod is. That is that is very close. That is very close. Very good. Basically, it is a nod to the wise and a rod to the other wise. <laughs> a nod to the wise because jo sunta nahi hai usko phir zara lagana padta hai, right? Yes, it is it is a little bit like that. Yes, very good. Okay, it, this one this one you should know. Ek machli sare talab ko ganda karti hai. But you will see that when you do it in English, there is no machli. There is a company. Apple. Very good. It is one bad apple makes the basket rot. Claps for Nilofar. So, so jokes and uh, idioms are very difficult and they come last, they come slowly in a language, you know, you, you go and try to memorize them, you know, when you go in an institute, sometimes, sometimes they say, okay, let us teach you language. The monkey is on the branch and you're like, where will I use it in my conversation? I cannot say, hi Anjum, how are you? The monkey is on the branch. And Anjum will say, what is she talking about? So 
usually when people teach English or any other language, they teach you sentences, you know, the dog is under the table. Who cares? Because it will never come in conversation. I cannot say, hi Anju, the monkey is on the branch and the dog is under the table. <laughs> Anju will say, I am going home, who is she, you know? <laughs> So you have to understand that English is not learned how it is written in the notebooks or in the books. English is learned what you are doing today. You talk with each other, you play with each other, you do a game and your English keep improving, 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 okay? So that's one, this is like my last slide, so I'm going to go back now, okay? So, um, oh, I, was, I also wanted to show you that some of them, cat got your tongue, that means can't you speak, right? That's very strange. And similarly, when people say butterflies in my stomach, that means you're feeling nervous. You know, say, oh, go down in flames. Go down in flames means to fall, but very spectacularly, like somebody got shot at the podium. You know, he went down in flames, you know, like that. So their idioms are very difficult. So now that you have eaten, we will do the last, I have many other games, but we will do one last game. It is very difficult, okay? And that game is like this. I, I, I can't write, really do all the games. Uh, asking good questions, not that one. Not that one. We can do either this, this is the verb boat race, okay? I, I will tell you both and you decide which one you want to play because we will only play one more game, okay? I will tell you both, okay? So first game is the verb boat. Verb boat is that I give you a verb. Everybody knows what a verb is. Verb is a work, right? If I say run, the first person on that team, A team, and first person on the B team because you will be, you are still A and B team, so you will only sit with your own team you will have to add a pronoun to it and then give that paper to the next person. Let me give you an example. I say run. Run is a verb. The first person on the A team will say I run. You put I run and you give it to the next person. Then next person can add a different kind of pronoun to it and can also do a different tense. She ran. Main bhaagi, wo bhaagi thi. Okay? She ran, right? And then the next person can, do they say, they ran a race. So it comes through the whole team very fast. It's called verb train. And you have to keep adding pronouns, changing. And first you start with two words. I said, I eat. I say eat. You say, I eat. They eat. They ate, they were eating, um, the, the father ate, the family was eating. It always have to be a pronoun which is like associated with that verb. And then you learn eat, ate, eaten, ate. Eat, ate, ate, eaten basically. There is no fourth form of that. And that game is like that you do it as fast as possible so that your brain can form the words. I ate the food. I am eating the food. I will eat my dinner. I ate my breakfast. I ate my breakfast. I am eating now. I will eat in the evening. So it seems like very easy exercises, but they really, what they do is to your brain, that when you want to talk in the present tense and you want to say something in the past and then you want to come back and go in the future, your brain quickly, quickly, quickly switch and you do the correct English. Does it make sense? And whichever team do it fast wins. So that is one game. The other game which I really want you to play, that is that there are three people we choose, right? So let's say I choose Anjo. And Anjum is my doer, right? So let, let me bring that up. Let, let me bring that game up.
No, I don't have that here. Let, let me tell you how that game is played. If I, if I eliminate my So Anjum is my ro robot. It's all about communication and communication in English. Right? Hold card. Anjum is my robot. She cannot see. She will only do what I tell her. A prompt, right? I am a prompt. I cannot say anything. I can only say whatever he tells me by sign language. He cannot speak. Anjum cannot see. I am the communicator. So I have to get the action that you do. I will translate that to her what to do and she will do it does it make sense yes so it is like a three way communication and it is also about the language right so and anjum has no idea what we want her to do right ready so first you you have to tell me by actions that what you want anjum to do bolna nahi hai <laughs> you have to communicate with me. <laughs> now, that, that's very easy, but that's a good practice. Anjum, aapke, your head is itching. Anjum, your head is itching. <laughs> so because her, she does not have, she, I am her prompt, right? So tell me something difficult. Anybody, let's play together. Good ask, Anna. Don't say the word. 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 Don't Stop. Anjum, turn right. Anjum, take 10 steps slowly. Straight. Stop. Okay. Keep coming. Can you extend your right hand and find where my 
verb game or do you want to play this one but you have to think about like very difficult things these were like just like warm-up things you know whatever you like that should be yeah. no 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 whatever you like whatever you guys like huh? You can take part. Yes. Yep. Okay. The first first person in. The, so how come a, a team A becomes smaller than team B? We were a nicer team, so they. <laughs> what happened? Did some people move back? No, some people left. Oh, some people have left. Do you want me to do the equal? No, it doesn't. It does matter. It does matter. Because the verb, verb train has to we come. To we have to equal members. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so, so we are very good. Only one person has to move. Madam, you move. Yeah. This is an easy one. Nine and nine. Okay. Okay. Okay, now there is like... Okay, you come this way. Can you be eleven there? Okay. Go ahead. So they, they want to play the verb train. So first person should have a pen and a paper ready. The first person. So the, you know that the same paper will move, okay? This is the last one we will play. You, don't, you do not speak. You write as fast as possible and give it to the next one. And make sure it's different from the all others, which means that you have to read. So everybody, you should understand your duty very carefully. So the first person's job is very easy, right? I say a verb, you add a pronoun to it. That job is very easy. As it moves, the job of the next person becomes harder and harder and harder. You have to quickly see what is being given. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. And you can make this very difficult in your class. You can say, you will only stay in the past tense. Or you will only stay in the future tense. Then it is even harder. So right now I'm not doing it. You can decide right in the future tense, present tense, or past tense. It doesn't matter. 
but do not repeat it, which means you have to like read very carefully what your teammates have done, then add your thing correctly and pass it to the next one. So we can only change the pronoun, not the verb. You cannot change the verb. But we can change you can change any form of the verb. You can use any form of the verb. And I gave the example run, ran, running, you know, you can do that. But you can do it in present tense, past tense, future tense, future indefinite tense, future continuous tense, whatever you want. You cannot change the verb, but you can change a pronoun and you can change a you can add an adverb to it or something like that. But the basic verb should not change. Ready? Okay. Digging a hole. Digging a hole. Train teammate, we have to announce for tomorrow's session also, and also the second kid celebration. Okay. Attempts was wrong. I saw. I I, I noticed that. So yeah, that's okay. 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 Oh, you you made the question. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why are you digging a hole? Okay. This one is, I dig a hole. Don't dig holes in the lawn. My brother was digging a hole last night. A a hole was dug in ground yesterday. He is digging a hole. Uh, she is digging a hole. That's cheating. <laughs> um, I dig a I dig a hole daily. My, <laughs> why, why do you dig a hole daily? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I no, but I think it's very. I dig a hole daily. I, I mean, I would ask why. <laughs> okay, and then somebody said, I um, I am digging the hole. Oh my God, the hole. Okay, and uh, Tina digged a hole. I think. Um, I dig a hole in the ground but the hole is written as w h o l e and you see it teaches you these things because english is a very strange language h o l e is a hole but h w h o l e hole means as a whole so you also learn these things you know um, and and this is so much fun you know, and you say, oh my God, what does it mean? Okay, next time you will never write W-H-O-L-E. You will, you learn something very quickly. Okay, and they dig a hole. So, so I, I want to, what I want to highlight here is, we can play this on and on and on. Did you see how there is a um, camaraderie of thought in both teams? Did you see it start with an I and it flow into they, we, together, daily. <laughs> Somebody's digging a hole daily. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and then it always starts with I am digging a hole and then it moves on. Does it make sense, right? So these kind of games will help you improve your English. You can do it in your class for 15 minutes and then move on and teach whatever. You can do it in science, you can do it in technology. We do it in engineering. We do it in engineering a lot. And all of these things will help you. You never improve English by just sitting down and reading and rote memorizing anything. It always helps you by cooperation and always like um, uh, being in a team. Whether that team is in your department is not necessary. Not necessary at all. Because uh, better has no definition. We can always be better and you do not have to be bad to be better. Nobody is bad when I say, oh, we can do better. That means we can do better than this. That means wherever we are today, we can do better than this. It is four o'clock in America in the morning and my husband is calling me because I'm supposed to be right now in a bank to, to, to do a chore here. Uh, it is my great pleasure to be with you. I have learned a lot from all of you. I have loved my days and nights in here and in America when I interact with you. And I hope that we will always continue this journey. That is not a buy or anything. Okay, so thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Do you remember to call to move around and you know it is not a class <laughs>